Okay, switching gears to the police department, dogs are also valuable and trusted members of the force for our officers. Once again, here's Stacy Lloyd now with a look at the canine unit. Meet the Glendale Police Canine Unit. Officer Gabe Vasquez and Chaos, Officer Jason Chambers and Ado, Officer Brian Anderson and Reno, and Officer Mike Griffith and Alec. These dogs are dual purpose police dogs. And when I say dual purpose, what I mean is that they're cross-trained between narcotics and also patrol work. In addition to the four to the four dual purpose dogs, we also have four single purpose dogs, two that are assigned to narcotics um, and two that are assigned to bombs. In some cities, German shepherds are used as police dogs. Not in Glendale. Left turn. These are Belgian Malinois. They have very high drives. Um, they work for praise, essentially, and for toys. Um, and they do that 24-7, almost relentlessly. Foss, 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 foss! Originally from Holland, these dogs come to the unit completely green. They don't even know the command to sit. They spend 320 hours training with their handler. And when they make the force, another session each week. You're in the building, the Sacramento Police Department dog unit. Come out immediately. A police dog is sent in to find you. He will bite you. On this night, we're watching the unit practice different scenarios. This is a simulated building search. Officer Chambers has Ado looking for the decoy. He's the guy in the padded suit. Using their keen sense of smell, dogs can search faster and safer than officers can. Put your hands up, put your hands up. Well, one of the things that we pride ourselves on is that in the canine unit, canines are the best locating tool in the business. And what that means is that nobody can go out and, and locate a person better than the canine unit. Obedience is the name of the game. The dogs must be under the control of the handler at all times. Obedience is, the, is basically your fundamental for everything. The dog's got to be obedient before you can use it to search buildings or look for people on the street. You can see that that dog looks to that handler constantly for um, approval, for praise, and for his next move. What do you want me to do next, Dad? And it's just that ability to be able to do whatever he's asked. And these dogs are on it. Watch this. It's a call-off. Chaos is going for the bad guy, but stops and turns back after a command from his handler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we have to send the dog to apprehend somebody, but that person gives up prior to the dog apprehending them, we want to be able to control the dog and call him back without a bite actually happening. Glendale police pride themselves on not having attack dogs. Their dogs are light switch dogs. Just like it sounds, Ado turns on and off on command. So basically what we want is a dog that you can pet, and then once the handler tells him to bite, he'll bite. And then once the handler tells him to let go, it'll loose, sit. You can go back to petting. And that's the type of dog that we want, and that's the type of dog we strive to have. Each handler and dog spend a lot of time together. They not only work together, but the dogs live with their handler and form a special bond. Because it is a lot of fun, and it's a, and it's a lot of the best parts of being a police officer, and you get to do it with your best furry little friend. Good boy. Most of the dogs on the canine unit typically work seven to eight years. After that, they retire and continue to live with their handler.